I wanted to show you something that Sweet Hunter got me that I absolutely love. I think this is beautiful. Now, I've been seasoning it, so I can't turn it up sideways. But if you can't tell the size of this, it's a 17-inch cast iron skillet. And my family knows I love skillets, so and I, I love cast iron. So I just think this is beautiful, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it today. So last night, what I did is I chopped up zucchini, yellow squash, and carrots. That will be the toughest thing to cook. I've got two bags of it. I got to get my cornbread out. I've got yeast rolls, but I figured some would want cornbread with the greens and the peas. So we're also having turkey that uh, Sweet Hunter smoked a couple of days ago, and we've had it in the refrigerator. Uh, we're also having dressing that I had frozen from uh, Thanksgiving. We're having slaw, macaroni and cheese, black eyed peas, yeast rolls, and then we've got the hummingbird cake. We've got chocolate brownies, and we've got Rice Krispie treats and a cheese ball. And who knows what else we'll come up with. The first thing I'm going to do is just dump these chopped vegetables that I did last night. I just did that to prepare. And because these will be the ones that take the longest. My granddaughter gave me some white balsamic vinegar from the olive oil company. I'm going to use that on these. I'm using just regular olive oil. And I'm going to toss these just to get these ready for the pan. Go ahead and get these in the oven. And then we'll prepare everything else. These might, these will probably take about an hour to cook if I was guessing. This skillet has been seasoned and I'm just going to add these vegetables to my beautiful skillet. And my rain keeps hitting this bowl. So these are covered in olive oil and balsamic vinegar. I think it's going to be delicious. I'm not going to salt or pepper it or put any spices on it until these get cooked. Now, I'm not adding potatoes, and the reason I'm not, that sweet potatoes would be awesome in here, I think. But the reason I'm not is because we are having mashed potatoes. So I went in and peeled these uh, onions. Uh, I'm chopping those just kind of big to go in this uh, vegetable medley. And um, I may do two, I don't know. So I don't know if you can see my pretty cutting board. It's beautiful. A company sent it to me, and I'm very proud of it. And the link to it is in the description box. But I have not got the nerve to cut on it yet. Um, I just, it's so pretty. So I'm just going to chop these up and wash these when I get them chopped up. All the scraps will go in my garden. I wash all my veggies before. But then afterwards, I always wash them again because real food is dirty and that's fresh food is real food. So I've washed my mushrooms. They say not to wash them. They say to scrub them with a brush. And these, they are dirty. So, but um, I've washed them good enough and, and this is going to go right on top of these. I may just leave all these here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just using my cornbread pan because I don't like to mess up pans. And I'm putting a little olive oil. And I'm going to throw my onions and bell peppers in. And I'm going to go ahead and saute these. So this is all I'm doing is just tossing them to get them done. In olive oil. You can do butter and olive oil. Just don't do just butter because the butter will burn. But you can do uh, butter and olive oil together, and the olive oil keeps it from burning. Now, I chose to cook these on top of the stove. I didn't have to. I could have put them in the skillet with the rest at, right at the end. But because they cook so quickly, I chose not to do that. The bigger vegetables took a lot longer to cook than I thought they would, so I'm glad I sauteed this and had this ready to go when it was done. This looks delicious, just like this. 
I really wanted some uh, fresh Brussels sprouts, but I could not find them, and my garden is not quite ready with them yet. Uh, so I chose to get some uh, frozen ones that are uh, cut in half, and it worked out real well. I think it's beautiful. I think everything's beautiful, though. I decided to season it now with salt, pepper, and I added rosemary and thyme to it. And uh, then I put it back in the oven for about five minutes to cook the Brussels sprouts. So I took it out of the oven and I'm adding some toasted pecans. And then I'm adding some craisins to it. I topped it with a little bit of brown sugar. And here's the kicker, feta cheese. This was delicious, y'all. We had a few leftovers and I froze them and we're gonna have vegetable bowls one night served over brown rice. You also could add steak or chicken, but you can use any vegetables you want. Now, y'all go cook something. Thank you for watching.